let's get started first of all make sure you are connected to the Wi-Fi open your Chrome app and here you need to search Gcam now once you search Gcam you're gonna be greeted with a lot of you know websites but this is the website you need to open the cello azivodo.com now once you are into this website you will see a lot of gcam ports for the poco f4 but the port which i'm going to tell you today is actually the best one it has a lot of features but there's one catch and that is you need to do the settings which i'm going to tell you because otherwise it's not going to work now there are a lot of versions right but the version which we need to get for this smartphone to work absolutely awesomely and super stable is not the latest one and we are going to get a BSG Gcam, so don't worry about that. But we won't be getting the 8.7, 8.6, 8.6. Now, this is a very important thing. Many people think, like, let's just get the latest Gcam and it's going to work absolutely fine. That is not the case. At times, you just shouldn't get the latest Gcam. You can get the oldest version and it's going to work fine. So, this is the version we are getting right now the BSG MGC 8.5. Tap on it. Okay. Now here we have a lot of options we have the snap option mgc now in these all the options the one which you have to download is the snap op option just tap on this close the ad and there you go it's downloading i've tested this version as well the mgc 8.6 but i'm gonna give you my honest review this version is not that stable and that's the main reason i'm using the 8.5 because this version is a lot more stable than this one and believe me the actual quality you are gonna get is super awesome now let's just open the app give all the permissions and ask and we are into the home screen like the interface of the google camera now as you guys can see on the bottom we have a lot of features and my favorite one is this portrait mode and one more thing i want to tell you about is not all the cameras work absolutely fine so first let's just try to do settings and try to make it work absolutely fine you need to tap on auto white balance that should be on actually it was on by default and then in sdr you guys can see it has sdr plus enhanced frame rates are 30 fps raw plus jpeg you can just turn off raw i don't prefer raw actually so you can turn it off you can scroll down go in more settings okay now once you are in more settings you're gonna be greeted with a lot of options obviously because this is google camera now you need to tap on advance in advance you need to scroll down and you need to disable this astrophotography and believe me because of this almost 90 percent of the time the google camera crashes so you need to disable that and then you can turn on auto night side because no problem it works absolutely fine you can turn it on and yeah the, these are the setting things you can do but there's one more thing you need to do and that is you need to go in configuration of modes and here you need to tap on interface and this is the most important one so in the interface you need to get to this point and tap on pixel 7 pro let's tap on it and in the hardware level it shows 3 plus well and tap on 3 now once you tap on 3 it's gonna work so now what we need to do is if it crashes on hardware level 3 for your device you can test out other things but there's one thing you will notice that is the contrast is very very high but don't you ever worry because once you just tap on the shutter button just tap on it it's gonna take the image and after the image is processed the quality is gonna be mind-blowing like look at that man that is actually really good quality that's what i think but it obviously depends upon your taste but there's i think the ultra wide angle camera doesn't work that well or smoothly so that is what i think i don't know right now so let's just try to take an image with the ultra wide angle camera just tap on it yeah there you go it is actually quite blurry i don't know why in this smartphone it isn't working the best so that is one thing you need to know but normally all the cameras work we have you know the 2x zoom the normal and the macro camera is also working that is insane because in poco f4 normally macro cameras doesn't work so this one does we can go as close as this and let's just try to take a macro image of this let's go there you go and yeah it does work but you know the quality is quite average the best part is the main camera works and that is actually the best part because the main camera works super duper awesome you get 2x lossless zoom due to google's magic and if i take the image you're gonna see the quality is very nice like it's super clear you have no grains at all and it's just awesome look at the quality look at the sharpness it's damn good that's one thing this is the best way to install google camera you can take a lot of nice images i'm gonna test it against the sdr right now to see the sdr performance in this one 
so there you go and you guys can clearly see the clock you can clearly see this highlight and the photo in the painting so that was the best way to install google camera for the poco f4 i think this video if you like this video i think you should definitely subscribe my channel for a lot of more great content and most importantly follow me on instagram and subscribe my channel like the video as much as you can thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace out